we need our doctors to look like our patients and represent the diverse people that we treat. It's better for patients, it's better for the whole healthcare system. We've seen that the sort of the same groups of people are vastly overrepresented in higher education. People are like, oh, I, I, don't, I don't look like a doctor, I can be a doctor. And they, they just sort of laugh and it's like, no, you look like a doctor. <laughs> like, what does the doctor look like? I'm Catherine Harris and I'm currently a junior doctor at Aintree University Hospital. I have just started in A&E, which is taking a history, doing an examination, and then there's recess as well where you've got the critically unwell patients. I'm from a school in Bradford. It's a large, comprehensive school, uh, 2,000 people, a uh, very diverse background. I was the first person to do medicine in 10 years. My teachers were really supportive. My mum's a teacher. My dad works as a cook in a pub. Two sisters, a brother. <laughs> just a normal family, yeah. So I got some experience in a maternity ward, uh, in a hospice. And I was like, actually, this is really cool. Maybe I want to do medicine. And I always wanted to work with children. And now I think my career is sort of going towards I want to do paediatrics. Going into schools and areas and approaching people that might not have automatically always thought that they want to do medicine and sort of saying, look, it's OK, you can do it. Getting people to, to think about medicine as a career, think about going to university. The whole York is actually a lot more collaborative than some of the more traditional medical schools. People would always help each other. They'd collaborate rather than compete. You felt valued and the students really supported each other. I really liked the focus on the patient side of things for communication skills. I think for me, I couldn't sit through lectures all day. What you learn, you apply in the clinical practice the same week and then it really puts it into perspective why you're learning it. I am proud of what I do as a doctor. It is the human interaction and trying to make someone's very stressful time less stressful. I would say definitely do it. There's a hundred different ways you can go. You can work in hospital, you can work in the community, uh, you can work in health education, you can work in teaching in academia. There's a lot of different paths and there should be a lot of different people that do it. <laughs>